Okay, I'm gonna go over two cheap and uh, effective little gadgets for the homestead that uh, we've been using and uh, they're working pretty good and they're kind of one of those things that uh, it's if you haven't used them, they're kind of a neat thing, but if you have been using them, it's like, wow, how, how have I lived without these items? Uh, first one I'll, I'll, I'll go to right now. Uh, first product, hopefully you can see this. It is the uh, mini little uh, temperature and humidity readers. Uh, these are great because if you do canning, if you have, uh, you know, like a gun safe with some storage, you know, different things, it's a good thing to monitor the humidity because uh, food storage, especially, you want to have a good humidity range. And these things, um, I bought a three pack. So we have one in each of our little buildings, storage buildings and, you know, in the kitchen and, and they just work really great. And uh, I'll show it to you right here. Okay, if you can see this and the little fruit fly flying around, that'll get into the next product. But this, you can kind of see, uh, we've got the temperature and then the humidity level. So you got the temperature on the top and then the humidity level on the bottom. And these ones are inexpensive, so they're not backlit. You can pay a little bit more for backlit ones, but these are just really simple to use. They do use one AAA battery, and they actually do come with that. And there's the spot to put the battery. They got a little, so this little stand flips up, so you can stick it on there. And then if you do look also, it's got a magnet. So in one of our storage sheds, I use the magnet. I stick this on the little electric box in there and it uh, sticks on the wall. You can stick it on your refrigerator. I mean, it's just a, a cool little thing. And then as you can see, it's got a little smiley face. So when the humidity is in a, a good level, you can, it'll be in a smiley face. And then you've got a button here to change from uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. So yeah, and you get a, three pack of these, it's very inexpensive. But, I don't know if you've seen these uh, little, we got some fruit flies right now, and we've been using the uh, vinegar and whatnot, but I found a new solution, and I'll show you that right okay. now. Okay, what is this thing? It is a electronic bug zapper. It is, uh, it's just called the insect zapper, but what it is, is it has a blue light, it's kind of like infrared, you can actually change it, and I'll show you that here right now. You have the settings of on, blue light, ultraviolet, off, and then night light mode, which doesn't get as many bugs as the blue light. And then what this thing does is it's a little mini bug zapper. A uh, little fruit flies fly into there and they get zapped. And it, it's kind of satisfying. In the middle of the night, you'll just hear little pops here and there. and Right now it's worked pretty good because we did have a lot of fruit flies and we reduced them down because this thing was popping quite a bit. And now it's, I just saw that one fruit fly and I think that one went into the vinegar and is now gone. But between the vinegar and having this, it was a, a great, great thing. And I'll show you how to uh, maintain it. It's very easy. Uh, a lot of the other ones, they just have a light in them and they have little sticky pads you gotta, you gotta keep putting into there. And this one, it doesn't really need anything. Okay, this is the uh, the bug zapper. I mean, it's uh, they call it inse insect zapper, but I mean, you know, it's just a little one thing that it does come with, and I'll show you here in a second. I've already got it. This is the unit right here. It, that was the was was plugged in with the blue light, and then it needs to be cleaned right now. But uh, let me show you this. Hopefully, you can see this. Look at all those little bugs in there, all zapped. And it's hard, it's hard to see, but there's a glass, piece of glass on the bottom. You can kind of see there. And then the little grid back there, but look at all those bugs in there. There's a whole bunch of them in there. And all you do with this, it's really easy to do. In the little kit, <laughs> They give you a little brush. So you go over your trash can and just brush out that bottom tray and then go down this. Obviously when it's unplugged, because it's a little electric grid back there. 
And then, yeah, I'm counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow. And one mosquito. So 16 fruit flies and one mosquito. And that was from, you know, last night. So, and now I'm not really seeing any. We just got this thing and I wish I would have had it sooner. Um, great, great product for the price. The only negative I have on it, for some reason, I thought I clicked quantity of two and I only ordered one. It was my mistake. So a great product uh, for the homestead. Highly recommended. I will put the affiliate links down there uh, if you want to order from Amazon. I do earn a little bit from these affiliate links, but they do not change the price. So it would be the same price if you just search for this yourself. But uh, a little bit comes my way if you use my link. But uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Both of these items are just great to have on a homestead. They are just, this thing's just kind of fun in a weird way, just because you hear it like it's loud when they pop. So, and if you have fruit flies and you don't really like the vinegar solution, this is another uh, solution. There was one negative review on the internet that I saw on Amazon. Apparently somebody had one and a moth, a giant moth got in there and uh, got zapped and then got stuck in there and was smoking. So if you have a giant moth problem, uh, probably not the best solution, but if you have mosquitoes or fruit flies, very good solution. So hopefully this was helpful and until next time, thanks again. Oh, this is so satisfying.